We are live, I think. We are all oh, my camera's not on. Kablamo! We are live, guys. Welcome, 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 welcome everybody to Friday Night Live. Uh 60 degrees north, 63. How's it going? What is the crack? Uh the crack's 90. The crack's 90. Does anybody say the crack's 90 anymore? Do they like? <laughs> the crack's 90. Uh only an Irish person would understand that. What's the crack? 90, boy. 90. 90. What does that mean? It means that there's so much fun that everything is going at 90 miles an hour. The crack's 90, boy. The crack's 90. <laughs> you're, not a I'm, you're not a member anymore. A member of Wally's World? I don't, I don't know. Uh, I'm not really sure. Uh, I think it was. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, here, Tom. Jesus Christ. Tell me about it. I think it was. I think it was Chippy. Mark, how's it going? Tom, how's it going? I think it was Chippy. But was would would come on and like buy five memberships or something like that, and he 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 would do that every time. Uh, I think that's what was going on. So I think the memberships only lasted for a month or something. I am unsure. Uh, good man, Ken. Which one did you buy? Decent jackets, boy. Decent jackets. I I tried to get rid of one of mine and and I wore it and I was told that I'm not allowed to get rid of it. <laughs> I have to keep it because it's too nice. And that's the that's the the, the Bartlett, which I found I wasn't wearing the, the the forced one. It's nice, 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 nice. Very nice. Very new. Very nice. You know. So you sort of uh. You sort of have to wear these things in. But no, I am definitely a Carhartt fan. This being my favorite. This being my favorite. Oh, the Bartlett. Yeah, the Bartlett's a lovely jacket. Get yourself one of these. Anybody recognize this? North, you would recognize this, wouldn't you? Let me see. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll spin it around so... Uh, you can see that. Check that out. Don't wear that. Uh, hello, Bruno. What's going on up here? Did you need to be a part of? Am I live on the internet? Do you need to come up on my knee so everybody can see you and your and and his new collar? Come up a wee bit. Uh, come up a wee bit. Uh, I am unsure where that came from. North. Uh, look, 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 look. <laughs> I'm unsure of where that came from. It either could have uh, it it could have come from Siobhan's dad, who was who was a uh, who was a soldier his whole life, uh, or it could have come from elsewhere. I'm not really sure. What? Uh, do, 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 do. It is there, and I might need a home for it. So email me. Uh, so yes. So this, this is what I, I decided to do. I pulled all those coats out and stuff like that, guys, and I'm going to give them away. So I have a load of stuff I'm going to give away, but I am not going to announce a giveaway. It is going to be something that is going to say on the community section, it's going to say, who wants it? And the first person to reply can have it. And I'm not going to tell you what it is, and I'm just going to post it to you. <laughs> Please, God, let us all be in Ireland. <laughs> I posted... Uh, have, have you guys ever have you guys ever seen uh, a YouTube channel called Endurance Room Survival? Any of you guys that's in, in into the bushcraft? Let me see now. I'll search for it and I'll I'll, I'll send you the link. The, 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 the channel is actually just called Endurance Room. Uh, he, he, he has a D, this, do, 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 do. He, he has a decent channel. Uh, 
No, Simon. No, most of them are mediums. Most of them are mediums. Uh, do, uh, do, 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 he... He, he, he is sending me a tarp to test, and I sent him a tarp to test, right? He is somewhere in upstate New York, right? And it cost me £32 to ship it to him. £32 for a tarp. How much do you think a tarp weighs like? You know, there's not a lot of weight in a tarp. When I think about it, the stuff that people ship me from the States, Jesus. It's so expensive. That shot right up my nose. It's so expensive. So expensive. Jesus. So expensive. So, yeah, that, that is what I'm going to do. I want to get a bit of money because I don't want to be sitting here with having given stuff away and not being able to afford the shipping. Do you know what I mean? So, if, 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 you, if you're giving it, like I have loads of stuff here from, from Bearskin. I have, I have th three coats of theirs at least. There's one I want to keep for testing. Uh, I have some... I have some mascot stuff as well. And this is the thing. So th these companies were sending me loads loads of different things. And basically, you're wearing them and you're testing them. I guess there's only so much you can wear. Do you know what I mean? So it's sort of getting to the stage where, you, where you're trying to put on a different coat every day just for the sake of putting on a different coat instead of putting on the coat that you bloody like. So uh, I'm keeping I'm, I'm, I'm keeping the mascot one that has that has the, the Woolies World logo on it, guys. And I think I'm going to share the love a little bit. And I have two other light jackets that I'm going to give away as well. Uh, and that's pretty much it, I think. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, and this is, I, I know, I know. Jordan, how's it going? It is, it is one of these, it's one of these things like, you just, you just end up with so much stuff. Do you know what I mean? And and you're 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 trying to test it, right? And by trying to test it, you know you have to put something else you have to put something else away and stuff like that. So it's just sort of I don't know what I'm going to do in in that regards. I think I'm just going to have to slow down on the gear testing a wee bit maybe, or or start testing other gear like tents and stuff like that because you don't. You don't have to put as much effort into it. You sort of can find out all you need to know from one night in the tent, or, or from you know from setting it up and, and and mucking about in it a little bit. Yeah, I know what you mean. Except I don't take care of it. I uh, <laughs> I, I I I washed my wool stuff there for the first time. Uh, the Varstalika wool stuff, and I would, did not want to wash it at all. I was like, oh, I don't want to wash this, you know. I'm, get, I'm getting to the stage where I am going to have to buy new gear because the stuff that I have is getting too small for me. Just because I'm such a beast of a man now, <laughs> nothing to do with, with, with the ever expanding belly or anything like that, you know. <laughs> So this is this is the thing. So I, I have I have at least two pairs of Varsalika trousers that are too small for me. That are too small for me. They're just a little bit uncomfortable. It's like it's like the extra weight that you put on at Christmas. Every year it takes a month longer to get rid of. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> and so the files boy eating crap. It's like it's like every month and a half. There's some other reason why you have to have a load of crap in your house. You know, it's like Easter, Christmas, you know, Halloween, everything. Uh, yeah, Simon, I agree. It just shrinks in the wardrobe, shrinks in the wardrobe. Now, unfortunately, my my wool Varstalika trousers are probably going to have to be included in that as well. They're an expensive replacement. Like they're like 160 quid or something. And I love them. This is and they're the ones that I washed today. I washed yesterday for the first time. For the first time in two years of use, I'm gonna say. Two years. But my Varsalika outdoor trousers are too small for me. Uh I have a pair of brand new ones here that I, I that still have the tags on that I literally tried on and went and, and says I'll put them away for when the other ones are are done. The other ones are still going, but they are a little bit snug as well. So I'm I'm stuck in this in this situation where they're all just a tiny bit too small. Whereas if I get the next size up, it's probably all going to be far too big for me. Do you know what I mean? So I don't know. 
I think I'm going to chance a pair. Probably going to get a pair of windy CDs. I was talking about this with, with Ed the other day. Where is Varstalika? There is Varstalika. Where is my wish list? There is my wish list. I love a pair of the Forgotten Weapons trousers. Ah, oh, it's gone. Hmm. Did that wrong. Pants. And I really wish they did them in uh, in, in, in short lengths. Check this out. Check these out. I'm not I'm not I'm not going to tell you what they are. Just click the link and have a look. I do like the woodland ones as well. Get out of that. Go away. Uh, so, yes, I was aware of that. What, what I'm hoping to do, North, is is I'm hoping to uh, send back the ones that I have and exchange them because they've never been worn except for when I tried them on. Uh, I just feel that I would be more comfortable in something a little bit bigger. Anyway, high winds soon. Why did I just get a weather warning for high winds again? Jesus Christ, would the weather ever just go away? Oh man, 41 mile an hour winds tomorrow. Gusty, southwest. I... <sighs> Guys, literally, I was thinking about this the other day. I feel like it hasn't stopped raining since June last year. I know. This is it. Uh, I actually cut those trees down yesterday. Uh, I went down yesterday. And, and did, did you see the short that I put up from last weekend? Tony and Teddy, how's it going? Did, did you see the short I put up from last weekend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I I cut July was the Jesus. I I am yeah. I'm not surprised. What a washout last year was. I feel like the the ruts where I used to drive in in Red Branch where I have stopped is just completely full of water, and it has been for months and months and months. Uh, Yeah, I, it's going to be 40 again tomorrow. 40 is borderline for me down there in the forest, you know. I'd sort of be like going, mm, I don't know, it could be a little bit dodgy. But Jesus, I didn't I didn't think that was forecasted at all. What's me other one saying? You normally notice this stuff. I'm, I'm a, like, three different weather forecast guy. No, it's only time it's going to be 30 tomorrow. Yeah, I'm, I'm three different weather forecast gates. I was going to get up at 38 at around 12 o'clock. Gusts of 38, 20 we can do. But it's going to be sunny and raining at the same time. Uh, yeah, so I, I will have three weather forecast apps on the go, and I will be checking those all, right? And I will be sort of bringing, a, bringing something that is, is similar. Let's see if you see that. Yes, crap. Yeah, what can you do? What can you? I I was actually hoping that today would be uh this weekend would be the first weekend that I'd be able to run all classes because I haven't been able to do that for weeks. Uh, but you look. What can you do? So what I had was I had three 
four, possibly four windblowns. One just isn't quite there yet. I sort of need to keep an eye on it. Uh, I had four windblowns and literally it was it, it, or three windblowns. Sorry, I was there with with I cancelled because the weather was going to be wild, right? I knew it was going to be windy. It was really sunny and I knew it was going to be windy. And basically what happened is when I went down, uh, I would uh, I cancelled work. So I took the dogs down for a walk just to see if there was any damage done. I knew it was coming. So I, I had dismantled Red Branch. So I'd taken down the parachute and stuff like that. And I, w I was overlooking at a tree, right? And I could see that there was, there was a load of logs, logs, 20 foot trees that I had cut down were stacked at the bottom of it. And what I could see was that the tree was blowing and these 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 logs were lifting up like this. And I went, oh Jesus. This is this is this is going to be this is going to be another wind blown after the last wind blown. I was like, oh Jesus. And then, then I sort of turned around and I saw one tree was already blown over, right? So I walked around it and got to the back of it. And that was the one that you could see the first one in the short that I, that I recorded. So when I'm sitting there, I can feel the wind coming and I can see this thing shaking and shaking and shaking. And then a big gust came and the two beside it, the three of them all just went at once. You know, and it was, I was like, oh, Jesus Christ, what am I doing? I'm going to get killed here making a stupid short video. And, uh, and, and that was it. But they never went any further. They just sat there, right? So... So basically, I had to go down and I had to cut them down yesterday because the the, the it's unsafe. You can't, you, you just can't have people in the forest when it's like that. You know, it just feels like the whole week was the same. It, it's like the the weather just didn't stop. It just was, has been windy and pissing rain all bloody week. You know, so anywho, what like, and the ground is soaked. This is it. The ground is absolutely soaked. And because the ground is soaked, you know, the trees are getting too big, and blah, blah, blah. Marlon, how's it going, buddy? Grant, how's it going? So it is, uh, it, it, it just was just one of those things but i cut them down and it was fine it was it was fine it, it they, they went over really easy i i even i even notched notched and cut up two so that they would go at the one time it was all very dramatic and very cool and then they didn't fall over as usual because they were hung up on other trees to start with so uh you know wally crack wally crack cutting down trees that don't actually ever fall over you know the usual crap so uh but no it was it was interesting. It was interesting. Interesting that everything is going in the same place. So this is this this is this is what uh what I'm wondering. Yeah, it's crap. And it's like it's like it's like real mizzle and everything. I'm sure he is. Sure, what, what the, and this is it. Like, dude, I don't, I don't remember such a long run of crap weather. Usually, the uh, the the start of uh, April is okay, is it? Usually, it's cold and bright, isn't it? And then it sort of switches in 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 the middle of the month. What's May and June going to be like? Last year we had really good weather in May and June, and then we had rain in july august september october november december january february march <laughs> so i hear i hear it's looking up peppy how's it going buddy i hear it's supposed to get better next week but sure yeah it's a long way to the top when you want to rock and roll what is the crack with you peppy did you get your tree cut down And I had two saws with me last week on Thursday. I didn't bother taking the 365 because I needed to sharpen it. Uh, ah, I have apple blossoms coming up in places that, but that is the time of year for them. And my cherries, cherries are blossoming as well. Uh, I, I took the 181 with me and I took the top handle saw. Went mad with the top handle saw. Went away off doing crazy things with it because it's just so handy 
Uh, I had somebody. I wonder if Chippy's not on, is he? I fucking just uploaded a video. Fucking uploaded a video. That means everybody watching it. Yeah, it's, it's shocking, isn't it? Which is only the 12th. It is only the 12th. So I had the one eight one, and 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 it was just playing. There were no issues. Starting all the time, it was running all the time. It's like, it's like the little bit of a carb adjustment. Even though I still don't think it's quite there, it's like, uh, there's going to be no more frost now. I don't think. It's, it's not. It really doesn't feel like it. It was 13 or 14 degrees today. It was warm. <laughs> I love it. Good answer. <laughs> Let me try and do something there. So this is uh, the thing. So you said frost. Where are you again, Grant? No man, it has been so wet here, so wet, and just like crap, you know. And now it's just warm and crap. It's like you're 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 going outside, and uh, I've been doing doing a lot of walking, and well, like well, uh, I'm doing one decent walk a week, like eight nine miles a week. And uh, it's like you can't. You, it's so hard to get your layers right, and you're overheating, and you're. It's raining, and you're wearing gore and it's 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 awkward. But you know what I did do? I went up and I did the walk the other day. Ross, how's it going, buddy? No way. Ah, yeah, Grant. No, we're, she were having all this warm, crappy weather. Uh, no cold. How was that, Ross? Everybody seems to be visiting everybody over there in the States. Uh, who else did they see was away off visiting? Who was away off visiting? Oh, I can't think of it. I can't think of his name. Somebody was away off visiting. Rock Hill Farms or something. Can't remember. Can't remember. Oh Jesus guys, I'm getting the sleepies now. It's really warm in this house. Because <laughs> it's been pissing rain all day and I've had the fire lit all day. It's been really warm. He came off to Canada. Excellent. Brilliant. I must find some some local YouTubers and go out and, and 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 go do some videos. I was thinking of of approaching, fucking about doing a wee video, but I don't know how I would fa fix. Uh... Excellent. Good man, Peppy. All just a dream or Peppy. I love it. I love it. You can do it. So it is, uh, uh, yeah, it just feels like, it just feels like the rain is never going to end. Like we are flooded again. Like, you know, and it's just, they're talking, they're on here about talking about, about money for the floods that happened in November. And they're talking about uh, getting, getting grants for people that weren't eligible the first time and stuff like that. And I'm, I'm here going, yeah, but we're still we're getting flooded like you know once a month. There's there's obviously something going on here. There's, you need you need to do something about the rivers. You know, it's it's like uh, ah, it's so wet. It's just it's just like I don't know. 
clear, clear felling mountains and stuff like that has to have a massive effect on rainfall and rain, not rainfall, on rain catchment, doesn't it? It has to. Like, there has to be how how many gallons of water a, a day does one tree soak up, right? And if that tree is missing and there's 20,000 other trees missing from, from so, a catchment side of a mountain, it has to cause an issue down, down in the valley below, doesn't it? Like I wonder, is is there a way to 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 start bringing this to the forestry, right? So so that you know you can say, well, actually, you you just need to change your thing here because this is causing flooding, right? An umbrella holder for his suspenders. I was going to, I I went mad with the top handle saw. So, and I, 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 uh, I carved some, uh, I carved some, some, can you see that? Can you see that? Or is that just a big bright blur? You ready for the craziness? You ready for the craziness? It's about to go crazy. Can you see that picture? That's that's Bruno. That's that's Bruno on a knife I was testing today. So I, I've I've come up with a cunning plan, right? The cunning plan is is to uh, in in instead of instead of removing. Instead of removing all these stumps and doing my head and trying to remove stumps, I'm just going to carve them all into mushrooms and I'm going to paint them and I'm going to sand them and stuff. That's the rough. Uh, uh, that's the rough job there that I did uh, the other day with one with the stumps from the windows. Uh, and I just decided, right, you know, if if I leave stuff, <laughs> I know. Uh, if, if, if I leave the stumps there, there's more chance of kids kids are going to fall on them, right? So trip over them. If I cut them low, they're going to trip over them. If I leave them up, they just sort of are these weird-looking stumps just sitting there. So uh, no, not at all, Simon. Not at all. It's very handy. It's just for, 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 for cutting against the grain like that, it, it's, it's slow, right? It's slow because it's only 25 cc or 27 cc, whatever it is. But uh, it it it's it's very easy to use. Like I sort of I sort I sort of kneel down beside it and and rest it against against my chest or against my leg so that I can sort of get a wee bit more leverage on it. But no, it's a hundred percent. It's very very light. It's a very light saw and and it's got the smallest bloody fuel uh, tank in the world. It's so like I think the fuel tank on the other saws are like. 0.75 liters or something like that this thing must be about two five liters uh but uh that is what i was decided so what i, I was going to challenge bucking to a, to a carving contest maybe see if killinger wants to get involved as well but then it's a bit silly but you, i don't know it's sort of you, you, you sort of have to figure out something that you can do that everybody can do that they want to do do you know what i mean that doesn't have a message this 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 is what i found so like let's split this and stuff like that is brilliant because loads of people are doing it but it's not really about shouting people out it's not really about oh you know i blah blah it's 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 you know it's get, getting bucking to do it was amazing right would he do it if we did it again this year i don't think so um you know so it might be you know, and, and you don't really want, well, I don't really want a, a, the video to be about the bigger YouTuber, you, the let's split this video to be about the bigger YouTuber giving me a shout out. That's not, that's not the point. But something like this, which, which is just a bit silly. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind, you know, so, uh, but we'll see, we'll see, I don't know, these, these things are, are hard to organize, especially when, when there's, there's nobody else here, do you know what I mean, like, if those, 
there's somebody up the road and there's a mutually beneficial video that you could do between two people that would work 100 percent and you're you're you are showcasing your skills to their audience and they're showcasing their skills to your audience and everybody joins together and you, you know, both channels get bigger happy days but as far as i'm aware i don't e i don't even know any other irish youtubers doing my sort of thing do you know what does that make sense do you uh it's it's a it's a top handle saw so yeah simon it's a it's a, um, a t5 a husqvarna t525 a very rare grant i i like i like to do my lives when i'm in the forest for red branch bushcraft uh if if i do one here it always ends up zachary how's it going buddy it always ends up talking about gear. It turns into gear fest, and there's knives and axes and everything going everywhere. It's 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 really good. It's a very different vibe as well. Very different for some reason. Uh, he he could be working, Pabby. Could be working. Excuse me. So. <laughs> There's gearheads everywhere. Hey. Oh, I have a sore throat tonight, but probably because I was working today. Well, I know working. I was I was two hours teaching fire lighting to, to a group of kids in the forest. But it was a lot of talking. But uh, and that is the crack case. There's, there's not a lot going on. I I just really feel like this weather is so crap. It's just. <laughs> It's just crap. It's like you can't get out to do anything. There's a pile of wood out the back that just needs to be split so bad. There's a bag of kindling out there that still is not split since last year. And it's just like every chance you get, there's always something else more important needs to be done. We need a run of good weather. We need a go run of good weather where you can cut the grass, let it dry, give it a proper cut, you know, let it dry, cut it again, you know, so where everything is dry and you're cutting grass and you're not tearing the crap out of your garden. And, and this is it because, because, because it's, geez, I feel like I'm, I'm on a rant and a rave tonight, like, because it's starting to get warm, all this grass is grow, grow, grow. Uh, what WhatsApp group? Do you have a WhatsApp group? Did Cooter get locked out there? Yeah, of course you did. Hang on a second. What WhatsApp group? Yeah, it's cat. Just crap. Just I'm waiting for the nuclear winter to come along so the weather can pick up a bit, you know? Speaking of which, did anybody watch Fallout last night? I didn't watch it yet, so no spoilers. I just want to know if you thought it was any good. Ah, uh, no, don't be weed killing. Don't be weed killing. Burn them or something. Do something else, but don't be spraying weed killer. Man, that stuff is is is, is poison. Well, I know. <laughs> Obviously, that's, that's what it's for. But that stuff is tough, man. That is, that is, that is bad stuff. Bad stuff. That's Agent Orange, man. That, now, now, now I sound like a hippie. Yeah. Amazon. If you have Amazon North. It's it's far too wet. It's just like and this this is why I think half of half of, of my trees are falling over. Do you know what I mean? It's because the ground is so wet. Yeah, I'd like to watch it. Uh what you call him's in it, who who I think is a great actor. Uh Cletus Van Dam. What is his name? What's Cletus Van Cletus Van Dam's name, Siobhan? Walton Goggins. That's Walton Goggins. He's a class actor. Yeah. That's the one. Cletus Van Dam. See the way you knew who Cletus Van Dam is. <laughs> Cletus 
Van Damme is the man. Yeah. Who is he? Who, who knows? Who knows? Show your age right there if you know who Cletus Van Damme is or what the character was from when he played Cletus Van Damme. Tell me this off the top of your head. Is there anybody out there who is mechanically minded? Cars, especially. I'm having an issue with the Hilux guys, and uh, 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 which reminds me because I have new bulbs here. And this is my third set of bulbs this year. I'm constantly blowing bulbs. I actually only have one headlamp lamp working on the truck at the minute. And uh, I replaced I replaced them two weeks ago. And this blood, these bloody things are not cheap. So I am wondering if anybody has any similar issues. Now, I Googled it a little bit to see if I could figure out what it was. And as far as I'm aware, yeah, <laughs> uh, as far as I'm aware, it's something to do with the earth. Not, not where we live. It's to do with the earth from the bulbs not not grounding property or something like that i'm gonna oh, just supposed, supposed to get me yoke serviced i'm sure i forgot about that no, i'm gonna have to get that done yes but both it's not it's not it's not one it's not it's not like the driver shade one keeps going all the time it's it's one of them will blow you know, either or. So I I don't want to be driving, you know, at night. It's just it's just it's just a bit of a ball, you know what I mean? <coughs> oh. Yeah, I think it's the earth. That's what I think. So I think I'm gonna to have to go figure that out. Check the output from my alternator is clean. How the hell would you do that? Oh. I think it could be any of those things. My my uh, my my wee lights have gone as well. No, I don't have a multimeter, but uh, my my uh, my mate's an electrician. He definitely has at least one. I'll have to figure out how how to test that. I don't know how you would test that. Yeah, look, I have to replace these as well. The wee small bulbs are gone too. Batteries are fine. There's no issues with batteries, you see. Thank you, Peppy. Thank you. Who is that guy? Who is that handsome guy? Oh, it's me. It's me. Yeah. Yeah. Why is it doing that? So, look, guys. Short and sweet tonight. I have to write this down. No, I need that. Where's my other thing? Here it is. Here it is. Oh, was that? Check the voltage across the back battery.
see, this is it. I don't remember. I don't remember if it's one or the other or it's both. What is the regulator called? What's the regulator rectifier? What is that? Oh, it keeps the voltage stable. And where would that be on, on a car, on a truck? Ah, oh, you guys. Back if you want to know. Lovely stuff, guys. Okay, so I need a visit to my mechanic next week anyway because I am due a service. You are, are going to be glad to hear that my MOT on my truck was up on the 4th of April, which is a week past. And the next available MOT I could get is the 28th of August. <laughs> Test the electrical points to the bulbs as well. Okay. Guys, the system is done. The, the Northern Ireland system is done. It's an absolute joke. You cannot get an MOT. You just can't get one. And and technically, you're not allowed to drive your car without one. Uh, <laughs> good man, Grant. Guys, thanks everybody for watching. Stay frosty.